Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to talk about a cool little gadget, the McQueen Plus. It's a little programmable robot. You can do all kinds of things with it. The brains of this little guy is the micro bit, a little microcontroller that you can easily plug into the front of the robot. You can easily program your robot by dragging and dropping code blocks and do some pretty advanced stuff such as autonomous movement, line tracing, and pretty much anything you can imagine. Let's check it out right now. So let's go ahead and unbox the McQueen Plus. That's a nice orange box from dfrobot.com. Special thanks to DF Robot who supplied this robot for this video. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. It's got a very nice case, nice solid plastic case. DF Robot also included this small micro bit. This is a microcontroller for the robot. It's typically sold separately, but uh, they were kind enough to send it. There's the safety guide, the getting started guide. We'll go into the programming of the micro bit shortly, but let's just take a quick look at the features of this single board microcontroller. It has a 5x5 LED matrix, so it's got 25 LEDs, which can display animated patterns, scrolling text, numbers, stuff like that. It's got two programmable buttons. Uh, it can detect if it's either pressed or not. It's got an onboard motion detector and three-axis accelerometer, so it detects movement and other actions, such as if you tilt it and, or drop it and that kind of thing. It's also got a built-in compass where it can sense direction and movement as well as detect the presence of certain metals, which is pretty cool. It's got Bluetooth built in, so you have wireless communications to other smart devices. It's got a five-ring input-output for power, I.O., and programmable analog and digital circuits. It has a 20-pin edge connector, which makes it really easy to just slide it right into the robot and remove it. And lastly, there is a micro USB controller on board, so it presents the micro bit as a, a small computer memory stick. Taking a look at the board, you have a small battery connector here, and a reset button, and over here a micro USB for connectivity to your computer. Now to the fun part, let's open the robot itself. First, we have this piece of paper here, which is a big poster, and we'll get into that in a little bit. That's for line tracing, and uh, we're going to have some fun with that in just a few minutes. Uh, here's a QC card and the setup guide. It's pretty easy. You install a 18650 lithium-ion battery, install the supports, the wheels, the ultrasonic sensor, and plug in the micro bit. Alright, so first we have the base unit for the robot. This includes power, motors, edge connector, GPIO, all the robotic stuff, uh, including a number of sensors. Next, we have the ultrasonic sensor, and this sensor is pretty cool. It's able to measure the distance from the robot to some obstacle in front of it. So we're going to attach that in just a little bit. And here we have the support system and the expansion bracket. Very cool. And here's the cable that goes to the ultrasonic sensor. And two wheels. Great! Now let's put this together. One thing I want to make you aware of is the battery is not a AA or a AAA, it's an 18650 battery. So if you don't have one of those, I'll show you in my website the type of battery you'll need and where to get one. So you just take the 18650 battery and just pop it into the compartment here. And once you do that, you go ahead and apply the supports. 
Um, I used a small screwdriver to pop the little plastic pieces off here so I could get them screwed in. And then I just took all three posts and screwed them in just like this. No disassemble! And that's pretty much it there. Next we'll install the expansion bracket. So you just basically line up the holes and put three screws through it. And that's pretty much it there. Very easy. Nothing too complicated. And now we have the support system and the expansion bracket. And next, we'll just add the two wheels. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And just slide it right on in. Just kind of rotate it a little bit till it fits through. And grabs hold. And do that to the other side as well. And there we go. There's the wheels. Now let's take a quick look at our work here. Very cool little robot. <laughs> Alright, so now let's move on to the ultrasonic sensor assembly. This one's very easy. You just have two screws that you need to put in. So we'll go ahead and twist those on here. I'll go ahead and speed it up for you. There we go. Now we need to connect the sensor wire to the ultrasonic sensor and to the base unit. So we'll go ahead and plug this in. And it's keyed so it can only go one way. Just plug it in there. And then feed the wires down through one of the holes. Like so. Attaching the wires is very easy. Um, the black, red, and green all go to the P1 if you want to follow along with my tutorial. And the blue one goes to P2. Okay, so now all we need to do is plug in our micro bit. You want to make sure the LEDs are facing forward. And uh, that was a mistake I made early on. <laughs> all right, now take the USB connector and plug it in. And if everything goes well, our robot should light up. And it does. You can also power off the robot and remove the micro bit from the robot and program it this way as well. Just plug in the micro USB and when you're done plug it back into the robot. To get started let's go to wagnerstechtalk.com and then move down where it says tutorials and down to where it says robotics McQueen plus. And on this page, you'll see all kinds of information relating to the McQueen Plus, such as where to get one, programming the micro bit, as well as some example code to get you started. Here you'll find some additional resources on the McQueen Plus, new tutorials and all kinds of additional information. And here's where you can get a McQueen Plus. I found it on Amazon or dfrobot.com. Here's a full tutorial on how to program your micro bit as well as down below there's some example code that we're going to explore. If you've wired up the ultrasonic sensor like what was shown earlier then you'll have no problem at all running this code. Let's move back up to programming the micro bit and we'll take this link here and I'm going to show you how to create your first program. I just called it video test and then I go into the upper right here you'll see where it says extensions click that and type in McQueen and there's two extensions we want the DF robot McQueen plus so we select that and in our list here of tools we see the McQueen plus these are essentially our building blocks for creating a program that allows us to control the robot and make it do stuff that we want it to for example I could drop in the motor and drop it into the forever loop so it'll just run forever and I could select all motors and I can also tell it the direction I want it to run either forward or backward and we'll leave it at forward and type in a speed I'll just make it a hundred and there we go we have a fully functioning program but let's make it a little bit more interesting we'll go to the show icon and on start we can pick an icon that will appear on the micro bit display so I'll just pick uh, the smiley face here. 
You can also program your micro bit in JavaScript or Python by simply clicking on the right hand side here where it says JavaScript and you can see the code that was actually generated while you were dragging and dropping blocks. You can also select Python to see the Python code or if you prefer we'll go back to JavaScript and then back to blocks. It's a great way to learn programming because you can switch between blocks or JavaScript or Python. Alright so now let's download our simple program so we'll click download to micro bit. My micro bit is plugged up to the micro USB cable and now our download is completed. Let's check it out. Here we have our micro bit we're going to go ahead and plug it into the robot and turn it on and see what happens. There's our smiley face and our motors are running. <laughs> Pretty cool. Alright, so now let's do something a little bit more interesting. Uh, let's have the robot determine the distance. So here we're going to show a number, we're going to round it, we're going to read the ultrasonic sensor value in centimeters, and then we're going to multiply that by 0 0.393701 which converts centimeters to inches. Alright, so to save us from having to create the block code let's right click, copy, go to JavaScript, press Control A to select all and Control V to paste. Now if we go back to blocks we didn't have to type or drag and drop we just copied and pasted our code. Now we've downloaded it and let's try it out on the robot. So now as you can see if it sees anything in the distance it'll tell you how far away it is. And it's saying 5 inches, 4 inches, 3 inches, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> you get the picture. Pretty cool. Now we'll move on to a more interesting and more advanced example and I'm not going to go through all of this, there's a lot to it, so we're just going to select the code, right click, copy, and go back to JavaScript, Control A, Control V, and go back to blocks, and you can see all the code here. And you can make changes to it, you can do other things that you want to do by simply dragging and dropping the components to create your own version of this program. Alright, so now we're going to download it. And I didn't actually have the micro bit plugged in at this point. So now I'm going to plug it in. And I'm going to click it again. And download to micro bit. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Alright, so now it's downloaded. I've set up an obstacle course. And we're going to try it out. Let's see what happens. Let's see if the robot can find his way out. And there you have it. <laughs> All right, now we're going to move on to line tracing. This is a neat feature. Remember that poster board? Well, now we're going to use it. We're going to select this code, copy again, go back to our code here, and Control A, Control V, go back to blocks so we can just take a quick look. Yep. And remember, you can change the code, and if you want to change the speed, direction, what have you. You have full control. Now we're going to download it to our micro bit and we'll set up our poster board and give it a try. And there you have it. The robot is following the line. Notice the sensors are detecting it on the top portion of the robot and it compensates for the direction if it doesn't find the black line it'll turn the opposite direction. Pretty cool. And this poster did come with the kit as you saw earlier. Another thing I want to show you is you can use a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. This one has 8 gigs of RAM to program your McQueen robot. Here I'm running Pi OS. Got the browser open and we'll just repeat the same step we did earlier just so you can see that it all works. Copy and then Control A, Control V and switch over to blocks and download it to our micro bit. So you don't need an expensive computer, you can use a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B as well. I have really had a great time working with this robot the past several days. It's super easy to assemble and program.
It's great for anybody who's interested in robotics and wants to get their feet wet with a kit that is actually expandable. There are other accessories that you could get for this thing that can do some pretty amazing stuff. You can get add-ons such as object detection and so much more. It's definitely a great learning tool for kids as well. If you have any kids that are, I don't know, maybe out of school <laughs> like mine are and may be out for a little while longer, who knows? This is a great way to get them interested in technology and robotics and just have a great time doing it. If you found this video informative or just plain fun to watch, please click the like button. If you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, please click the subscribe. And with that, I shall talk to you very soon.